Hi guys, welcome back to Inkuri Tutorials. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sequence where an icon spins. You can use this for many simulations, but on this example, I created a loading screen and I will make the tire spin. We're going to need four more screens for this example and copy all the elements from screen one to all of them. To use the Auto Animate tool, we need to make sure that our spinning element has the same name in all the screens. Now I'm going to show you the settings for the transitions. Go to Prototype, select the screen by clicking on the screen name. This will make the trigger time available. Select Time for Trigger, Auto Animate for Action. The second screen as destination is in out for easing and one second for duration. Go back to Design. Right now all the icons are on 0 degrees, so no movement will occur. Select the icon in the second screen and type 90 for the rotation. 180 degrees for the third screen. 270 degrees for screen 4. And 360 degrees for the last screen. Go to Prototype and select Screen 2. Drag and drop the arrow on screen 3, our settings have been set from before. Now select screen 3 and drag and drop to screen 4, same thing with screen 4 to 5. Now for the last screen, our settings need to be different. Select screen 5, drag and drop to screen 1 and go to this transition settings. Trigger will continue to be time, action will be transition, animation will be dissolve and duration needs to be 0 0.01 seconds. And I'll show you why in a moment. But first, let's see how it looks. Looks great! Now let me show you what would happen if we keep the same transition settings for the last screen. The icon will rewind to its first position on screen 1, instead of making a smooth constant spin in just one direction. You see? So we should return to the previous settings. And there you go! Hope this video was helpful and I'll see you on next time. Bye!